Hi, and welcome to Pierce Tutorials. Uh, today I have a talk because many people talk about the Logitech C920S webcam. And the problem with this webcam is, and we will see it here, the problem with this uh, webcam is uh, something about lag and something about focus. A lot of people who have this uh, webcam have a problem. The problem is, uh, when they use it, the webcam will get out of focus all of the time. And um, this happens automatically, and what can you do then? If you are on Linux, as I am, uh, then it's a problem because there is no such thing as a, um, as a GUI from Logitech for Linux. So you have to do something else. In fact, I was a little bit lucky here because um, if we go to this one, uh, I found a program that's called uh, Video Control for, uh, sorry, Video for Linux Test Bench. And the Test Bench is actually a very cool tool that you can use in order to, uh, to control all settings. Now, um, if you want to make a video on, uh, on Linux, the first thing you have to do when you start up your, uh, uh, or before you start OBS uh, for your broadcast, uh, then you should go to Video for Linux test bench and uh, check out your settings. First of all, you should control whether your camera is set up to a, a shootable frame rate, or frame size, I mean. Um, the frame rate you could set to, and uh, if the frame size is okay, you should also think about your uh, capture image format. Actually, YV12 emulators is uh, very good if you want to have a full screen capture. So uh, these settings uh, you should make beforehand. And then uh, I think that there is a problem uh, very often with, uh, with the white balance. If you want to, uh, to uncheck the white balance, you can, you can do it here. And uh, if we have a look at my, um, at my webcam, I think we should have it in, in full height now. So let's see that. You can see right now that my, uh, my webcam uh, is very blue. And um, you can actually go in and set the temperature. And at a certain point, you'll be satisfied. And at a certain point, it's way too much. But you can actually regulate the way that your uh, that your camera will respond to uh, to the lightning in the room. So uh, to the light conditions in the room, and uh, so this is one thing you can do. And you can also check like brightness if you want to have a darker image or you want it to be more bright. Uh, you can check the contrast, you can make it more dramatic or more boring or ugly looking, as the case may be. And uh, of course, you can also say that, well, I trust the camera. Uh, I trust that it will find a suitable uh, white balance. And then you can see here it's grayed out because uh, it's, it's not a manual setting. But you can see that around 47, 17, uh, that will be uh, the white bal balance temperature in the in the room, and uh, you can also set the sharpness. Perhaps you want it a little bit more sharp, uh, and the picture should be a little bit more uh, distinct, and then you get a result like this one. Now, um, if you go to the camera controls, you can see something that really causes problems very often. You can see here that there is a mark at Focus Auto. And uh, it's actually a very good idea to uh, uncheck that because very often the camera will have difficulties uh, when it should decide what to focus on. In my case, if you look at uh, the background image that I have here, it's a painting by Hans Krull uh, with some birds on it. 
uh, but the contrasts there are very, very uh, heavy. So uh, sometimes my camera just thinks that, yeah, that's what I have to focus on. And since I'm a very pale looking person, uh, looking something from, from the Elfie's society, um, there are not many contrasts in me, so the camera may choose not to focus on me, but on the birds in the background instead. And of course, that would blur out my, my picture, and that's not what I want. Uh, but just to show you what you can achieve with the, with the focus, you can see here that if I change the focus, I can blur out my picture totally. And around, say, 35-ish, something like that, the picture is more or less perfect as I want it. Um, there, you have also some options with the zoom. Um, actually, OBS does not want to do this, so I can't show you here. It works uh, if you use a web camera program. So uh, you can probably use some of the settings in your OBS here instead. But I prefer to uh, make the settings in the video for Linux to test bench before I start up my OBS. You can make uh, last minute changes if you want to, uh, but uh, mostly it's a very good idea not to do so. But let's have a look at um, some of the other settings that you need, because if you're using OBS, you can also do the settings inside uh, OBS. So now we'll change to, to OBS. Do you see it? And uh, in OBS, you can make some changes here. Now this is Danish. I think in, in English it will be called settings, something like that. But if you have a look at uh, the settings here, uh, you can see that, and if you go to, to video, then you can see that uh, you should set the uh, output resolution. Um, and here I set it to the same thing as I had in the camera. I have also a scaling filter called land source um, 36 something samples. And uh, actually, uh, with these settings, I get a sharp image. So um, you can do something like that for ordinary uh, things. I'm not sure that uh, the ideas that I present here will be very good if you are uh, presenting a, um, a stream or something like that and where you go on uh, live. But if you want to make just a recording on your own computer, then these settings are actually quite fine. So um, I hope that you could use what I told you here about uh, Linux settings. You know that uh, there are many fora online right now where people have problems with the Logitech C920S. So uh, I hope that you uh, could use this for something and that's, that this will help you. And in the comments below, I will just uh, add uh, the name of the package that I use uh, in order to control my webcam. So uh, I'll just uh, end by saying thank you for watching this video. Uh, if you want to, you're welcome to like it and to, uh, and of course to uh, uh, subscribe to my channel. Uh, you should always subscribe to, to good channels. And if you like it, uh, do it, then you will support my channel and uh, it's much appreciated if you do so. If you have uh, questions for me about Video for Linux or OBS, I'd be happy to answer them if I can, that is. So uh, thank you very much and uh, see you soon.